Good, good day to y'all people on the internet. It's your one bra bra there, not locks. And today's video is quick and simple and talking about rocking your dreads to its fullest potential with confidence. Stay tuned. All right, so this video comes from uh, yesterday as I was at work, my first wedding gig of 2015. And as you may have remembered, I was a little bit unconfident about rocking messy hair at a wedding, thinking that you have to be professional in certain situations and not, and, be, and dreadlocks sometimes being not professional and workplace discrimination as we've seen in past videos. I decided to let my hair out for the first time since starting to freeform, semi-freeform in November. I've been wearing a hat for the most part at work and when I'm out. But yesterday, I took the hat off and rocked the free, semi-freeform Afro dreadlocks for the first time for a full day without a hat on at work. And one thing happened. Two things happened actually. First, I didn't I didn't really notice myself with messy hair or didn't care that it was messy. And in fact, whenever I felt like it needed to be fixed, I would just rub my head in a circular motion, actually messing it up more, <laughs> which the messier I made it, the neater it looked, odd, oddly enough. I don't know how that really works. But that's how it was. And later in the day, a woman came up to me and said that she was um, amazed by how many videographers we actually had on the wedding day. Because we had like five, well, three video, four video and two photographers or something like that. So there was quite a bit of us uh, at the wedding itself. But she said after that, oh, and I'm loving your hairdo, by the way. And this was like a you know middle-aged white woman with her husband. She's like, oh, I love your hairdo. <laughs> I just I just laughed and said thanks because thinking in my head, man, I didn't do anything to my hair. I just messed it up even more to rock it at work here. So it shows that as long as you have confidence in yourself, in your skills at work, it doesn't matter what your hairstyle is. It doesn't matter what your hairstyle looks like as long as you can get the job done. And as long as you can get the job done, that is the main, the main concern. It shouldn't matter what kind of hair you show up with at work. Because truthfully, um, this hairstyle of mine is just how my hair grows. I shouldn't have to cut my hair short because I have curly hair. If people think that curly hair is unacceptable and not... Um, and not professional, then you might be in the wrong place when to work, and you got to develop your skills to a to a to a point where your work speaks louder than your look. I know it might be hard to do that in some situations, like an office or whatnot. Luckily, I work in the field of arts, so I'm able to do so. What are your thoughts on this situation? Leave a comment below. And I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Make sure you stay tuned, stay, stay subscribed. The best in Jedlock daily content. Oh yeah. Peace.